Hello everybody, today we're going to find out if we're going to make it to the Divisional Series against Atlanta. Last episode, I think I could say that I think this game, this loss was on me. Some of the changes we made, not trusting Olivares, not trusting Henry Davis after Henry Davis had two hits in the game, we pinched hit for him. Andy did get a base hit, but Henry Davis was one of the stars of that game and we've kind of stepped on his toes there paul skeens had an amazing outing maybe we should have left him in a little bit longer caleb came in and couldn't do it for us as well as castro and tristan well castro did fine but the two walks not too good tristan beck did come in and has some really bad luck there at the end and it's pretty much not like him but today ben brown versus Jared Jones. Let's get right into it. So far, Nico Horner and Suzuki have been the problems offensively for the Cubs. They've they've pretty much been the only offense for the team. Today, we're gonna decide who's going to the next round. Are the Pirates ready for a long playoff run? Or are we gonna fall short here in the first round? Packed house at PNC Park. Gotta love it. Got three runs total combined by the teams. Three to three each. Winner advances to the NLDS. There's Jared Jones warming up. Look at this view of him out there. I thought we fixed his number. I guess I haven't done that yet. Ben Brown. I don't know much about Ben, but hopefully he's not as good as the other pitchers we've faced. I love these cinematics. I love it. There's our team. In the City Connect uniforms. Postseason baseball. Jared Jones, nine and nine this year with a five ERA. But not the best of years, not the worst either. Five's pretty high though. That's that's not gonna cut it for us. Here's Dansby Swanson to lead it off. He's yet to get a hit in the playoffs. Let's hope that continues. First pitch. Low ball one. Leaves the slider over the plate, but Reynolds is able to get under it. Swanson gets well under that ball. A moonshot for one out. Here's Ian Happ. One, one, ones is average through two games. You know, two games in baseball is not a lot to really be paying attention to batting averages. Every at bat's going to be important in this game. Winner takes all. See how Jones can handle it. Johnson can't get to that one. Celestinos does pick up the ball. One on, one out. Here's Nico Horner. That's ball. 444 average. He's been the big problem. No, ball. Looks like the bottom of the zone is not in play today. There's a foul ball, two and one. Got him with a the slider there. Evens the count at two each. Curve ball to put him away. It's low, full count. High change up there, but Horner goes down looking one away. Here's Bowers. Hard foul ball, 0 and 1. And he strikes him out with the change up. They strand a runner at first. One hit for the Cubs. 0 0 going into the bottom of the first. Cruz, Hayes, Reynolds due to bat. All right, let's see some of Ben's numbers here. Three starts. He only had three starts. Okay, so he's new. I figured so. I didn't know the name. 214E whip. That's that's pretty bad. Here's O'Neal Cruz. First pitch gets to the corner there. 0-1. Oh, a hanging curveball. That's that's going to be fun. A little ahead of it there. 0-2. Oh, two. One that three. one's out of the zone. 1-2. Two, two. Two and 2 count to Cruz. Full count. That's inside. Full count. Look at Hayes, 500. He's having a great postseason. Early on that, too. So 89 miles an hour on the cutter. 96 is where the fastball looks to top out at. Get adjusted to brown speed here of his pitching. I don't know if we're going to be stealing off of Garver this, uh, this series anymore. O'Neal Cruz on first with a walk. Here's Cabrian Hayes. 
Swings at the first pitch. Should have waited for a better one. Bellinger gets under it, one out. There's a look at the lineup. 201 home runs for 10th in the National League this year. Reynolds, Jones, Soler, Langford, Johnson, and Celestino, and Davis to finish off the lineup. Ryan Reynolds has yet to really get going here in the playoffs. Let's see if today's the day. Here's the first pitch. Inside. We got to make this guy pitch to us. Two zero count. There he is, Brian Reynolds with a shot to right field. Two nothing Pittsburgh. That a boy, touch them all. We knew he had it in him. It was just a matter of time before the MVP of the team shows up. Two run shot in the first inning. That was huge. That brings up Nolan Jones, who's having a pretty good postseason so far. Oh, okay. Calling that a ball, too. Yep. Got to get ahead in these counts. And this starter should be out of the game in no time if we just be patient at the plate. No, that That's a ball? Wow. Tight zone tonight. Jones is going to try to take this opposite field. It looks like it's going to get down and over the fence for a double. Ground roll double there. I don't think he would have got any farther than that. So we didn't lose anything by it bouncing so high. Oh, that's a good pitch to swing at. Really trying to get this starter to throw a lot of pitches. Ben Brown here doesn't have the best command so far. That's a ball. Wow. Entire ball on the plate. And it's a ball. We'll have to keep that in mind. And it seems to be consistently that side of the plate. Way ahead of the two-seamer there. One and two. One and two count. Two, two. Outside, two and two. Count is full. Count's full. Jones is going to advance the third on that wild pitch. One out runner at third for Solaire. Full count. He does swing at it. We needed to. It was in the zone. Two away. Nice catch over there by Noda. Here's Wyatt Langford. Third run here would be huge. Oh, way early on that curveball. Good contact, but he got under it. We get two runs on three hits. Through one. Thanks to Brian Reynolds. 2-0 Pittsburgh. And here's Suzuki. As I mentioned, he's been a problem. Big home run last game. Otherwise, we'd be waiting to play Atlanta right now. Oh, two pitch. Oh, nice single. First base runner of the inning reaches for the Cubs in the top of the second here. That's a ball. That's a high slider there. Don't like that. One and one. Fouls it off. One and two. Tough at bat here. Bellinger's gonna, gonna make us earn it. Ground ball to Johnson. Flipped over to Cruz. Cruz to Jones. Two away. And that will bring up Christopher Morrell. Strike one. The 99 mile an hour fastball by Jones. Yep, we know that part of the plate's not going to be called today, Jones. One and one. No, that's it. 
Inside, two and one. Three one count. Noda on deck. Ground ball. Jones is able to play it. That'll retire this side. Two nothing Pittsburgh. Jamar Johnson. What a surprise this year he's been. Inside, ball one. You know, it's very rare that I get a pitcher to throw more than 20 pitches in an inning and only score two runs. And we did that last inning. So being patient here is going to be key. Get to their bullpen. Get to some arms that aren't, you know, this. Maybe we don't want to get to the bullpen, but that's always the key for me. Get the starter out. Get to a reliever who has a bad day. One, two to Johnson. Evens it at two and two. That's a ground ball. Two second base, one out. And Gilberto was picked today in the lineup mostly for defense. Not going to get a ton of offense out of him, but what we do get is going to be a bonus. And Hap is able to get to that one, two away. Here's Henry Davis having a pretty decent postseason as well. Again, I regret pinch hitting for him, though Andy did get on base, but editing it back, he had a solid game too, and we, we bailed on him. Bad decision by the coach. Ground ball, nice play. That'll retire the side. We'll go to the third, still up, two nothing. Ryan Noda, two nothing lead makes me a little worried. I would like to extend this thing to four or five to feel a little com comfy here and have a low stress game, but it's not always gonna play out that way. One away. And here's Garver who pretty much sealed the game for the Cubs in game two, defensively with those two hot steals. Lines out to Reynolds, two outs. Top of the lineup for the Cubs, Dansby Swanson. Ground ball to Jones. Hustle over himself. Yep. One, two, three, go the Cubs. Pretty easy inning for Jones there. Like to see it. And the bottom of the third, we get the top of our lineup up. O'Neill Cruz to lead off. Walked in his first at bat early on that fastball, the two seamer there. 0 oh 1. Fouls it off, 0 oh 2. That missed, that's the ball. It's inside, 1 and 2. 1 and 2. Brown seems to be settling in here. 2 and 2. Two and two counts. Again, it could be his style of pitching to pitch outside the zone a lot and try to get us to chase. Ball. Three and two. Ball and O'Neill Cruz gets a hold of one, making it a three to nothing ball game. His second home run of the postseason. Gotta love it. Almost gave up on this guy. I think he's here to stay. We'll figure out a place to play him if shortstop doesn't work out. But that one left the park. Might have made it to the river out there. 3 nothing Pittsburgh. And Hayes with a nice base hit there. Brown might be in trouble here. Here's Brian Reynolds, one for one with a two run home run in the first inning. Goes opposite field this time. Hayes is holding up. Hap's getting back to it. Hap gets it. Hap ran it down, one out. There's Nolan Jones, one for one. Oh, that's a good hit, but Bellinger might. No, Bellinger's unable to get to it. Hayes is going to turn the corner here. 
Dansby with a nice throw, but it's not in time. 4-0 Pittsburgh. Jones with a RBI double. Jorge Soler 0 for 1. One out. Chance to get us to that five run lead I was talking about. I had a feeling if we didn't get through and win against Assad, that Ben Brown wasn't going to be as challenging as their first two pitchers. And that seems to be the case so far. Runner at third, two outs for Wyatt Langford. Fouls off the curveball, 0 and 2. Let's get a base hit, Lankford. Gets jammed. They get under it. Through three, four, nothing, Pittsburgh. Let's see if the defense and pitching can hold up their end of the bargain here. Ian Happ to lead off, one for one today. It's a little low there, one and zero. Oh. One and one. Got him to swing through the curveball, one and two. Fouls off the high fastball. Do the one and two count one more time. He chased the changeup. Strikeout number three for Jones. Oh and two count to Nico Horner. Got him swinging. Got him swinging there. Fourth strikeout for Jones. Two outs. Jake Bowers, 0 for 1 today. Fouls off the curveball, 0 and 1. Got that one over the plate, 0 and 2 count. Strikes out the side in the fourth. What do we got going here, Jones? Two hits through four innings. Five strikeouts for Jones. Here's Tremar Johnson to lead off the bottom of the fourth. Tamar Johnson with the shot. Five nothing Pittsburgh. 400 feet, 104 exit velocity. His first postseason home run. Let's go, boys. Big time shot by Johnson. Alberto Celestino up to bat here. No outs. That was off the fastball. 0 1. No, that's out. I think you would have moved on from your starter at this point in the elimination game. One and two count. There's a base hit to left field for Celestino. One on, nobody out. Nick Martinez coming in the game. 35 outings, 5.41 ERA, 1.53 whip, and 123 innings pitched to face Henry Davis for his first batter. Nobody out here in the fourth inning. There's a shot, but Bellinger should be able to track that down. One away. Home run and a walk so far for Cruz. 122 hits in 111 games played. Pretty solid year. And another base hit for him. We'll hold the runner at second there. First and second, one out. Cabrian A's one for two today to keep his 500 batting average alive in the postseason. Fouls off a curveball there, 0-1. Oh, he swung through. Chase the fourth ball of that at bat. Strike out for Martinez. Two outs here in the bottom of the fourth. Hold this change up. Up the middle. Swanson's able to get to it and end the inning. Not before a Tamar Johnson solo shot to make it 5 nothing Pittsburgh through four innings. Suzuki leading off the inning for the Cubs. 0-1's the count. It's a ground ball. Cruz is going to have to really chase this and ham fire it over there. Hammer it. I don't know what that means. One out. Here's Bellinger. 0 for 1. All right, we get the outside corner. Okay. Johnson unable to get to that. Bellinger with a nice one-out single. Here's Morrell. And strikes him out with the slider. 
Six strikeouts for Jones. That's trouble. Reynolds over to get it. Throw needed to be perfect. It was not. Runners at second and third. Two outs. Count is now even at two and two. Hangs a changeup. Luckily, it's fouled off. Him to chase the slider. Way to strand the two runners there, Jones. Giving up four hits through five innings and six strikeouts. Nolan Jones to lead off. Two for two tonight. The sinker opposite field there. Jones will be able to get to second base on this for his second double. We overrun second base, but he's able to get back in time. Runner at second, nobody out here in the fifth. Here's Jorge Soler. Oh, he called it on that corner. Soler goes down looking. Here's White Lankford 0 for 2. 1-1 one -one count. Jones still at second base there with one out. There's a ground ball to third base. Jones unable to advance, but the throw is offline. Langford reaches safely. E5. It's Jamar Johnson, fresh off his solo home run in the fourth inning. Yeah. Fouls off the first pitch, 0-1. Those errors you just can't have in the postseason, especially down by five runs this, you know, in the fifth inning of the game. There's a double play ball. There's one. He's safe at first. Way to hustle, Johnson. Runners in the corners, two outs for Celestino. Now, as far as pinch hitters and runners are concerned, with the score the way it is, I'm leaning on solid defense. So the only move I might make is O'Neal Cruz maybe gets swaps out for, for Jeb at shortstop defensively. But that would have to be in the eighth and ninth inning. And he strikes out Celestino to end the fifth. Five nothing Pittsburgh. We strand two that inning. We got five runs on nine hits though. Jones will start out the sixth inning here. Only 59 pitches so far. Should have plenty of gas in the tank still. That's one thing I want to be careful about is not taking out our starters too early to stress out the bullpen. Nice play by Cruz there. One away. Ian Happ one for two. That's a low slider. Hey, he's unable to play that. Nice hit for Hap. He'll hold at first base as Reynolds gets it in pretty quickly. Runner at first, one out. Nico Horner. That one barely missed. That one got him, though. Seven strikeouts for Jones. Eight strikeouts. My bad. Here's a designated hitter, Jake Bowers. That's going to be off the wall. That might plate the first run of the game for the Cubs. Langford trying to get it in quickly. Johnson to relay it. Not in time. Five to one. Here's Suzuki. Let's see if Jones can shake that off. Stay alive here. He strikes out Suzuki. Nine strikeouts for Jones through six innings. Five to one Pittsburgh. Mm. Henry Davis up to bat here. 0 and 2. 0 for 2 today. Hegan Thompson in the game for the Cubs. New pitcher. They got a couple arms warming up in the bullpen as well. That is outside, 2-0. Oh. There's a fly ball to right field. One away. Strikes him out on a curveball. Two away. Brian Hayes, one for three. There's a nice hit. He's just been consistent. Every other at bat getting a hit. There's a ground roll double. Runner at second, two outs. To bring up Brian Reynolds. Who knew Cabrian Hayes was going to be such a good at bat in the postseason? One of the heroes today, Brian Reynolds. 
There's a shot. Bellinger should be able to play that, though. We head to the seventh in a 5-1 ball game. Pirates are three innings away from moving on. Jones will start off the seventh inning still pitching here. A little low, ball one. It's outside, 2-0. Oh. Bellinger swings at that one, 2-1. Two and one. That's a nice hit. Lankford will get over to its leadoff base hit for Bellinger. There's Morell, 0 for 2. 0 2 now. We're over to first, not in time. Fouls off. We'll do the 0 2 pitch one more time. Oh, this zone. You just forget sometimes where the bump's calling the strikes. And you throw a great pitch to strike someone out and you don't get it. There's 10 strikeouts for Jones. There's strike one to Noda. That's outside or inside. It should have been strike two, but we live with it. Oh, we're going to throw one of these away. I got to slow my roll on that. Two and one. Fouls it off to be two and two here. Gets him to swing at a changeup. 11 strikeouts for Jones. And it's time to move to the bullpen. Jones has a solid outing. Six and two-thirds innings. 11 strikeouts. Gave up one run on five hits. But here comes Manuel Hernandez to pitch. Hopefully get the last seven outs for us. 4.13 ERA this year. A 13-8 and record. This is how I wanted to use Manuel Hernandez in the playoffs. Hoping to use four starters next round and the fourth be Solometto. Oh, that's that's ball, low, that's ball. ball one. No, that missed, that's a ball. Two and oh. Ha! There we go, first strike for Hernandez there. Two one count to Garver. Way ahead of the curve ball, two and two. Two and two is the count. Gets a hold of the cutter, but Celestino should be able to play this through seven through six and a half. Five to one Pittsburgh. Only one game. I wonder if was that postseason? Nolan Jones three for three today. Solid game. Nice high slider there. Hold me. Oh, and one. That's the ball. One and one counts. Swings at the changeup inside. Bellinger's going to go back and get it. It's over his head. Jones with another double. Third of the game. I really thought Bellinger was going to track this one down just couldn't get there nice leadoff double there for Jones or hey Solaire still looking for his first hit of this game there's a time to have one I think that's gonna go foul though it does just barely oh and one That's gonna get through. And we'll play a little, little conservative there. Runners at the corners, nobody out. Here's White Langford 0 for 3 today. Runners at the corners, nobody out here in the bottom of the seventh. That's gonna get through and make it six to one. Where was this offense the first two games? Mar Johnson, one for three. Bellinger's going to get this. Soler is going to tag. That's a good throw. He got, Oh, I thought he got him. They might challenge that one. Runners at the corners, one out. No challenge. There's Celestino. That's deep to right field. 
Celestino gets a hold of it. It's nine to one, Pittsburgh. What a shot by Celestino. Really, you gotta, you gotta think. That might have done it. That might be it. Here's Duffy pitching. Jammed there, but is it gonna get over? It does fall in for a little Texas leaguer for Henry Davis. O'Neill Cruz, two for three today. The runner at first and one out. There's a double play ball. There's one and two. That'll end the seventh, but Celestino's three run home run makes it nine. It's a one Pittsburgh. Let's see if Manuel Hernandez can get these last six outs for us. Strike one to Swanson. Fly ball, Reynolds will retreat back. He gets under it, one away. Here's Ian Happ, two for three. Been a hard out today. Nope. Slider just misses the zone there. One and two counts. Got him looking on the changeup. Two outs. Here's Nico Horner, 0 for 3. That missed. That's the ball. 1 0 pitch. Fly ball. Reynolds will get back to it. And we go to the bottom of the eighth. Up by eight. Brian Hayes the lead off. Oh, that sound. 105 off the bat for another single for Hayes. Gotta be in the running for MVP of this series. Oh, one to Reynolds. Just late on that swing. Goes opposite field. Bellinger's there. One out. Nolan Jones, four for four with four doubles. My bad. Four doubles, an RBI, and a run. Fouls off the sinker, 0 and 1. Jones got a hold of that one. Is that going to stay in the park? I think it is. At the warning track, two outs. That's going to get through. Soler, another single. Runners at first and second, two outs for Wyatt Lankford. Deep shot to center field over Bellinger's head. That's going to score two more runs here in the eighth inning. 11 to 1 Pittsburgh. Let's save some of these runs for Atlanta, guys. Nice shot by Lankford there. Jamar Johnson, one for four. Hap's going to get under this one. Take us to the ninth inning. Ten run ball game. Jake Bowers the lead off the ninth for the Cubs. Not as much drama in this game as there's been in the first two. Not going to lie, I'm somewhat relieved by that. No balls, two strikes. Oh, two to Bowers. Ground ball, Johnson will charge it. One away. Oh, right, here's Suzuki. He's been a tough out all series. That's the ball. Okay. 1-0 count. Ball. A little bit low. 2-0. 0 3-0 counts. Three and one. Take. We got a full count. Full count. Three, two to Suzuki. Caught the corner for the strikeout looking. One out away from moving on to the divisional round. Nice pitch, Hernandez. Bellinger is two for three today. Oh, and one to Bellinger. That's oh. low. One and one. One and one. Fouls off the fastball. One and two.
Ground ball to Hayes. He bobbles it. Throw over to Jones is in time. Pirates win. Advance to the divisional series against the Atlanta Braves. I'm nervous about that one. We got through this one. Atlanta, they're a little bit of a different team than the Cubs. A lot more offense and a lot of good pitching. Let them celebrate. Get a couple days off. Fly to Atlanta. Start all over at 0-0. Zero and zero. Can't ask for anything more. Congratulations, the Pirates have won the National League Wild Card Series and will take on the Braves in the National League Division Series. No days off? Wow, I didn't realize that. What's that going to do? The pitching and the curve have won the Eastern League Championship Series. So we're going to have to face off against Spencer Strider. But let's just do this to see how Avedo's looking. He's not ready. All right. Daniel Hernandez pitching there. Might have been a mistake. So we'll have to go Solometo in the first round or the first game against the Braves. And then hope Avedo is ready because we don't even have a day off there. That was mismanaged using Hernandez. Eek. I didn't realize that. I thought we'd get at least one day off, meaning that game two would be on the fifth. Well, that happened. Looking at the lineup here, Cruz 429 in the postseason, two RBIs, two home runs, and seven at bats. Cabrian Hayes 538. Reynolds at 167 is a little bit of a worry, but looking at averages after three games, it's hit or miss here. 583 for Jones, 333 for Soler, 250 for Langford, 250 for Johnson, 333 for Celestino, and 273 for Davis. Jeb, four at bats, no hits. Andy Rodriguez, one hit and one at bat. Cruz got two. Dylan Cruz got two at bats, no hits. Same with Olivares. No at-bats for Bay. The only starter to give up a run was Jared Jones, and he had an outstanding outing. Six and two-thirds inning, 11 strikeouts. Skeens had six and one-third with six strikeouts, no runs given up. And Aveda was having the best outing. You know, us pulling him out early there on accident, I thought we'd get a little bit more from him. The only pitcher really to give us any problems has been Tristan Beck, but it was recoverable. It was still a pretty good outing by Tristan Beck based on the problems he was facing there. So the Dodgers have won the first game against the Phillies and the other series have yet to start. A little nervous about Solomento against Spencer Strider, but that'll set us up for some pretty good matchups against them. Let's find their pitching rotation. Waldrip will be the second pitcher here. Wish we could see his, oh, this is his season stats. He had nine, 16 games pitched. He went six and six, 398 ERA. Looks like a good up and comer here. We'll get the first two games of that series going in the next episode. Thanks for hanging out. I'm Socks Way Up. The Pittsburgh Pirates are in the playoffs and have won the wildcard round. Moving on to the divisional round. Wow.